Hi guys, my name is Lally. I'm a wig maker, costume maker, and a celebrity impersonator, and I'm coming to you today with this Lady Gaga Monster Ball inspired wig. So first you want to block your wig onto your wig stand and then you just want to brush it through and cut off the excess which will make it easier to cut it in a moment. So then section it off, brush through again and we're going to straighten the bottom and then we're just going to trim it so it's nice and straight and you want to keep doing that layer by layer. Point cutting is the best way to do this so that you've got that nice even line. Now take your De La Rowney Indian Yellow Acrylic Ink, a spray bottle, a comb and some isopropyl alcohol and plastic gloves just to cover your hands. Pop about 12 pipettes of the ink into the spray bottle and then fill to the top with the isopropyl alcohol and just start spraying away. So you want to fully saturate the wig layer by layer and comb every layer through to really get it through to every strand and you want to go up until about the crown area and leave the top part of the wig, the top third, completely dry without any dye in it. So just make sure everything's fully saturated and brush through before you leave it to dry. Then you want to brush it through to get all the crispiness out. And you want to take your parting diagonally from about midway across the forehead to the back of the crown and this will extend the amount of parting space you have and make it look more natural. Just brush that through and position the hair where you want it to go. And now I'm taking some medium sized rollers and some pins and I'm just going to do some horizontal um, curls in the front part of the wig. And so you see the roller is sitting horizontally across the head. That will give you that lovely S wave in the front. Make sure the tails are tucked under nice and neatly and the roller is quite tight but not too tight because then you get kinks if you've got the rollers with teeth on them. So now as you get towards the bottom section and for the rest of the wig, you want the rollers to sit vertically and you want to alternate the direction. So at the front of the face, you want the rollers to be rolling backwards and then forwards and then backwards and so on for the rest of the entire wig, um, which will give it a lot of movement and will make sure that the curls don't like mesh together and create one big like curl basically. So you want to use um, two long pearl headed pins to kind of hold the roller into the wig block, luckily it's not a human head, and then you can use a duck bill pin to just make sure the hair stays in place as well. I will leave a list of all the items I used and where to get the wig from in the description box below and I will also leave a link to the fully finished wig in case you can't be bothered to make one yourself which is understandable and I can do that for you. Um, whilst you're at it, uh, I would love a like, a subscribe, a comment, any feedback, any suggestions for any future videos would be much appreciated and you can hit the notification bell if you want to see what I come up with next.
then you want to get your steamer you can use a garment steamer you can get handheld ones from Amazon or you can just shove the whole wig block if it's cellophane into a steaming pot it really doesn't matter and you want to get that nice and moist I hate the word moist it's disgusting but that's what you want to do first and then take a carrier bag pop the steamer underneath the carrier bag and you want to make sure that the wig underneath as you're touching it is too hot to touch like to keep your hand on it and at that point when the whole wig is too hot to touch you can wrap the bag up stick a clip on it and then wait until it has cooled down spray it whilst it's wet with some got to be hairspray and leave it to fully dry then just take all of the pins out and all of the rollers out and give it a nice brush through so now we're going to start trimming the layers and putting some of the face framing layers in and I just like to slide my scissors down and eyeball it just wherever there's bits sticking out that shouldn't be there or you want some more movement or you want some more of the yellow to show through I literally just do this by eye and make sure that the front is even though so I'll match it up together and that is it thank you for watching my video I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and leave me any feedback any comments down below and I hope you have a fantastic day Mwah! Thank you.